Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Midweek Morning Manna. It's so good to have you here this morning and tonight. We want to welcome you. Thank you for being with us. Um, we are excited about the opportunity the Lord's given us today. Hope you've had a good week so far. We're praying for so many families today and ask the Lord to be with us. So let's pray and ask God to bless our time together. Father, thank you today for everything that you do. I pray for the Smith family. I pray for the Wallace family. I pray for so many families that are going through some very difficult times today. I pray, Lord, that you'd bless them in a really special way. Just continue to meet our needs. Father, we're thankful for all that you do. Thank you for the privilege. I pray you'd keep us safe during these stormy days, and I pray your will be done in our life. Bless our time together today. We love and thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Number 64, everybody. Number 64. There's books up here if you need one. Miss uh, uh, Gladys here, she'll take care of you, okay? Gladys here, you get around there. Gladys, if you need a book. Anybody need a book? All right, you're good. All right, here we go. Let's go. I have a home prepared where the saints abide, just over in the glory land. And I long to be by my Savior's side, just over in the glory land. Just over in the glory land, I'll join the happy angel band Just over in the glory land Just over in the glory land There with the mighty host I'll stand Just over in the glory land I am on my way to those mansions fair Just over in the glory land There to sing God's praise and His glory share Just over in the glory land Just over in the glory land I'll join the happy angel band just over in the glory land just over in the glory land there with the mighty host I'll stand just over in the glory land with the blood washed strong I will shout and sing just over in the glory land Glad hosannas to Christ the Lord and King Just over in the glory land Just over in the glory land I'll join the happy angel band just over in the glory land Just over in the glory land I'll join the mighty host I'll stand Just over in the glory land All right, everybody, good job. Number 72, it won't be very long. Number 72. I think every time the clock ticks, it gets closer. It won't be very long till this short life shall end. It won't be very long till Jesus shall descend. But then the dead in Christ from beds of clay shall rise to meet the Lord and King up yonder in the skies. It won't be very long, it won't be very long till Jesus shall appear. That day is drawing near. Will you be ready then to meet the ransom throng? Get ready for that day, it won't be very long. It won't be very long till here we cease to roam. It won't be very long till all the saints get home. And then with smiling face we'll walk the streets of gold and sing the Savior's praise where saints are never old. It won't be very long, it won't be very long 
Till Jesus shall appear That day is drawing near Will you be ready then To meet the ransom throng Get ready for that day It won't be very long It won't be very long Till earth shall pass away It won't be very long Till the works of men decay And then with gas prepared A happy dwelling place For all who look above And trust this matchless grace It won't be very long It won't be very long Till Jesus shall appear That day is drawing near Will you be ready then To meet the ransom throng Get ready for that day It won't be very long Very good everybody, excellent Alright, number 78 Number 78, I don't know what tomorrow's gonna hold But I'm sure I'm glad I know the one who holds all my tomorrows I don't know about tomorrow I just live from day to day I don't borrow from its sunshine For its skies may turn to gray I don't worry o'er the future For I know what Jesus said And today I'll walk beside him For he knows what is ahead Many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand But I know who holds tomorrow And I know who holds my hand Every step is getting brighter As the golden stairs I climb Every burden's getting lighter Every cloud is silver lined There the sun is always shining There no tear will dim the eye At the ending of the rainbow Where the mountains touch the sky Many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand But I know who holds tomorrow And I know who holds my hand I don't know about tomorrow It may bring me poverty But the one who feeds the sparrow Is the one who stands by me And the path that be my portion May be through the flame or flood But his presence goes before me And I'm covered with his blood Many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand But I know who holds tomorrow And I know who holds my hand All right, let's sing the blood songs 101, number 101 Power in the blood
Here we go, sing out. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you be free from your passion and pride? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Come for a cleansing to Calvary's time. There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, 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 wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Who oh, would you do service for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you live daily His praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, 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 wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Excellent, everybody. 122. Number 122, I bet it's about being washed in the blood, are you? Have you been washed in the blood? Here we go, sing out. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my pardon, this I see. Nothing but the blood of Jesus For my cleansing, this my plea Nothing but the blood of Jesus Oh, precious is the flow That makes me white as snow No other fount I know Nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my hope and peace. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Very good. Now, are you washing the blood? Right, Cole? All right, yeah, here we go. Now we're ready. All right, here we go. Just a glitch in the Brother Kim's mind. All right, not a worry. Okay, here we go. Have you been to Jesus? Everybody's singing. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in 
and the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Come on now. Are you washed in the in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are Groom cometh, will your clothes be white? Fair and white in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul, unclean, oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Here we go! Are you washed in the blood? Oh, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? That was like this. Uh, yeah, Cole said it was his fault that time. All right, that's good. I'm glad I didn't. Ma- one to one. Okay, well, I better break the tie. All right, 150, one more song, 150. I had a lady uh, text on, uh, put on Facebook the other night or YouTube or somewhere. I wanted to sing, I want you to sing number 150 down on my knees. So I told her we'll sing her today. 150, down on my knees. Here we go. Everybody sing. That's a good one right here. Once I wandered alone in blackness of night. Once I struggled alone, far from God and right. Then I saw I was lost, and in my despair, I fell upon my knees in prayer. I was way down on my knees, way down on my knees, praying to my Lord every day. I was praying to Jesus to hear me please and take my heavy burdens away. Oh, Satan tried to tell me the Bible was a lie, that Jesus did not love me and I was doomed to die. But I stayed down on my knees, way down on my knees. Jesus took my burdens away. I had fallen so low in sin and in shame that it seemed almost hopeless to trust His name. But I lifted my voice and cried in despair and Jesus heard my humble prayer. Here we go! I was way down on my knees, way down on my knees, praying to my Lord every day. I was praying to Jesus to hear me please and take my heavy burdens away. Oh, Satan tried to tell me that the Bible was a lie, that Jesus did not love me, and I was doomed to die. But I sank down on my knees, way down on my knees. Jesus took my burden, my burdens away. Hey, give the Lord a hand. Good job, everybody. Excellent job. Man, what a great crowd we got here today. (laughs) Mr. Peter, you ready? We're ready for you. Well, you do too. That's why you're here. That's right. It's kind of like I go to the supper table. When I go to the supper table, I'm there to eat. Amen. All right. Come on up here, man. We love Mr. Pete. Give Mr. Pete a big hand, y'all. I appreciate you. You're going to try to play. <clears throat> Guess the road will do you. Uh oh, that's left handed. I can't play it that way. <laughs>
right there. Thank you so much, everybody. Again, it's good to see you this morning. Before we get started, we're going to be in Psalms chapter 37 this morning. So take your Bibles, turn there. Let me just share with you a couple of things um, uh, tonight. Uh, from 6 to 8 is uh, Keith Smith's visitation. Keith is Dwayne Smith, Charles and Gloria's son. He passed away on Monday, and his uh, visitation will be here at, at uh, Irby's tonight. From 6 to 8, his funeral will be in the morning at 10 a.m. Uh, there at Irby's in the chapel. So just pray for the Smith family. I visited with uh, Gloria and, and Dwayne and Charles yesterday. Just pray for their family. Uh, Keith and I were uh, high school buddies. Uh, we went to school together, graduated together. Uh, and uh, just uh, thought so much, Keith, and we pray for he and his, fa his family and lift them up. Also, uh, this morning I got a phone call that Kent uh, Pierre's brother, uh, Shane Wallace, passed away, and uh, he passed uh, early in the night. Uh, he, had, he fell out uh, early Monday morning, and they took him to St. Bernard's, and, and uh, he, he never regained consciousness. So uh, we'll be having his funeral here. I'm not for sure yet when, and we've not made any arrangements. We're going to be working with them this afternoon. So pray for, pray for the, well, the Wallace family, and, and um, um, his wife's name's Michelle. Daughter, one of their daughters is Shannon. So, so just pray for them and, and Kent and, and his family, and just ask the Lord to be with them. I think Kyle is going to come in uh, for it. I talked to Kyle on the phone just a few minutes ago, so pray for them. Uh, keep remembering Mr. Tim Howe in your prayer. Miss Linda Earl started her uh, treatment on Monday. I've not visited with them since, but pray for them. Continue to pray for Miss Joanne Looney. Has she started hers yet, Frida? Third round, okay. All right, she's going to take five. So keep Miss Joanne in your prayers. Uh, Cole's grandmother, Miss Garnetta, continue to pray for her. Uh, Mr. Danny Barnhart, continue to pray for Danny. Uh, and Mr. Paul Bishop, uh, Paul is uh, in hospice care. Just continue to pray for their family, Loretta, uh, Kevin's wife, and uh, Pauletta, and, and Miss Rose, and Justin May. Uh, I talked to his mom this morning, Michelle, and she needed our prayers this morning. Just a tough morning. and So pray for Michelle and Mark and... Uh, Justin for sure, uh, and uh, uh, as I said, Danny Barnhart, Jerome Stockert, uh, if y'all remember Jerome, uh, that is Andrea's uh, husband, uh, Miss Pat Pratt's son-in-law, I think he may have had a stroke last night, and uh, so he is in the hospital in Kansas City with a brain bleed, uh, so uh, Pat texted me late last night, and I talked with her this morning, and she was on her way, so she's going to be driving through those storms, so you pray for for her and uh, lift her up in prayer and then miss emma forbes has been having some some issues um, uh, with her heart uh, so just pray for her so before we uh, go any further anybody else out there we need to remember in prayer that i forgot or i've missed i don't want to miss anybody um, anybody Right, very good. We sure will. We sure will remember him in our prayers, okay? Anyone else? Well, let's just go to the Lord in prayer then. Father, we need you and we love you. And Father, it's because of you and because of who you are that we can come to you with all of these requests and even the requests that are on our hearts uh, for our families, uh, for the loss of our community, Lord, for those in great need today. Uh, Father, for these families that have lost loved ones, I just lift the Smiths up to you, the Wallace family up to you praying for them and ask that you would be with them in a really, really special way. Father, I pray for our folks in the nursing homes and, our, and those at the chateau. Bless those ladies and take care of them. Bless Brother Ben and Geraldine. And Father, bless uh, uh, our folks in Rector Nursing Home and their families. And Lord, just, just take care of folks today. I pray for those in Green Acres and ask that you would be with Mr. Graham and, and Miss Rosie and just uh, lift them up to you and, and pray that you would be with them. For Miss Geraldine's, uh, 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 Pat and Geraldine, uh, Gerald's uh, mother and mother-in-law and I pray for them and ask that you would be with the Malone family and Lord just so many tonight that need you and so I ask that you'd be with us I pray that you'd keep us safe this afternoon and tonight during these stormy times I pray that you would keep us free of harm and Lord just bless uh, us today as we open up your word we're thankful for it we're grateful father that we can feed on it and Lord this helps us in our daily walk with you so Lord thank you Jesus for loving us bless our families help us Lord in those times of need that we've truly truly got to have you lord so that's right now and every day 
We love you. We thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Take your Bibles and look at Psalms 37. Last week uh, we talked about uh, the first 11 verses. We're going to break this uh, whole chapter down. But we talked about the first 11 verses and, and shared about how that the righteous man, what he discovers, uh, the righteous man begins to discover about worry and, and about how that we're to trust and how that we're to delight, commit our lives and to rest in the Lord. And he said, don't worry again. He, he told us this. And folks, that's kind of the pattern of our lives is, is worry and fret and, and concern for those things. But, but today we're going to look on the other sand we're going to flip that over and we're going to look at the wicked man in verse 12 and talks about the wicked man and, and in the wicked man the the pursuits uh, uh, that seems like sometimes that the wicked man kind of gets ahead he kind of uh, he kind of is, is ahead of us who are believers and we kind of wonder about that sometimes and 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 we wonder about that so uh, we're going to start into part two today beginning at verse number 12 if you got it say i got it verse 12 the wicked the wicked plots against the just. Now just think about that for just a moment. Wickedness, Satan, evil, ugly, um, and his henchmen, they plot against the righteous, the, the man of God, the, the women of God, the just, those who are believers in Christ. He said, in tea, and gnashes at him with his teeth. Just, now, folks, that's kind of like a, an old dog or, or a wolf or, or a bear. That, that's kind of in, in attack mode, you see? We're, we're in this world. Jesus said to be in the world, but yet not of the world. He wants us as believers in Christ to know that beyond a shadow of a doubt, folks, we, in the wicked's going to be against us. The wicked's going to be uh, uh, unruly. The wicked's going to, they're going to they're do everything they can do to, to put to the man of God. So the wicked man plots, if you will. That's what he says there in, in verse number 12. The wicked man plots. He said, but the Lord laughs. Look at verse 13. The Lord laughs at him, for he sees that his day is coming. Now look at that. Now folks, I'm telling you, there is a payday someday. Amen? There, there will be. And, and, and I'm just telling you, it doesn't matter. And, and that's why I'm, it's important that we as believers in Christ share the gospel with a lost and dying world that needs Christ so that we can share the good news so that they will know uh, uh, that Jesus said, I, I've, I've said this many times before. I've, I, I preached revival in, at Kennett this week and, and I, I shared it with the folks last night when I preached about this ministry that God's given. I believe everybody needs to hear the gospel at least one time one time everybody needs to hear the gospel so that they can make a, a choice but there's two billion people in the world today that's never heard the name Jesus it has no idea we live in a generation in what's called the 1040 window uh, uh, there is literally uh, billions of people that are in that window that have never heard about Christ and don't care to know about Christ they are uh, of other, uh, 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 other, uh, I guess, Muslims and Hindus and, and all kind of other different religions. And they don't want to know about Yeshua. They don't want to know about Jesus. They don't want to know about the Savior. They don't want to know about the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Folks, there's not ten ways to get to heaven. There's only one way, and that's His way. Amen? That's his way. And so, so when the Bible here says the wicked plots against the just and gnashes his teeth at him, shows his, shows his teeth, but the Lord laughs at him. And he sees his day coming. There's a day coming. In, in verse number 14, uh, we talk about the power of the wicked man. Look what he says. The wicked have drawn the sword. They have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy. It kind of reminds me of what's going on in the Ukraine right now really bothers me to think about those precious folks over there that are being uh, hoodwinked and and bushwhacked and 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 hurt and harmed and killed for no reason i mean for no reason it's sad I and mean, that's the way the wicked the wickedness of our world and, and and just think of that about that the wicked have drawn the sword it's a, it's a battle he said uh, the wicked have bent their bow it's a fight and then he says uh, uh, they, to cast down the poor, the needy, to slay those who are upright in conduct, to slay men and women like you and I who are trying to do what's right. Folks, Satan's always after 
The Bible says the thief comes to steal and to kill and to destroy. That's his job. That's his modus operandi. That's how Satan operates. That's what he does. And the Bible says in verse 15, their sword shall enter their own heart and their bows shall be broken. One day, the Lord will have his day. One day, because we've already read, the Lord laughs at that. The Lord laughs at that stuff. Because he, there's a day coming. When he comes out of the eastern sky, folks, and it's going to be serious. It's going to be all hands on deck, and, and the Lord Jesus is going to come in, and he's going to reap this world. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to, there's going to be a payday, okay? I, I just can't, I, I don't even know that I have the words to explain what God's going to do through his son Jesus, who comes riding on that white horse when he comes out of glory. In, in verse number 16, how did the wicked men seem to prosper? Look what he said, a little that is that a righteous man has. He said, it's better than the riches of many wicked. You know, I, I believe I would rather uh, know Jesus and, 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 and be knowing that Jesus, that I have a place in heaven for all of eternity than to have all the money this world had to offer, than to have all the fame and fortune that this world could throw at a man, that, 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 that anything that Satan could throw at us, and knowing that we have, uh, it's better to know Christ than to know anything in the world. You see, and, and sometimes we get down, sometimes we get uh, 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 concerned about the, the, the wicked and we get concerned about why we don't have and why we're just barely making it. Why, Folks, remember, God's got all of us under his control. He loves us. He says there's not a thing that happens in our life that God doesn't have, sit, that doesn't sift through the hands of God, that God loves us and cares about us. I promise he does. He knows those things. And, and the Bible says there, uh, 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 the little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. God's going to hold us up. Stay with us. Stay with us. Don't give out. Don't give up and don't give in. Stay with us. Hang in there. Give trust in the Lord. Put your faith only in Christ. Not in the things of this world because things of this world, guess what? It's going to fade away. It's going to fade away. And look what the Bible says uh, about the wicked man protection. Verse 18, the Lord knows the days of the upright. He said, and their inheritance shall be for how long? Forever. Look at that. Now, that, that ought to give you joy this morning, knowing that, that, that trusting in Jesus gives you something to last forever. And I, I, I've got a lot of things in, in this old world that I, 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 I hold on to and I've kind of had for a long time, uh, uh, for whether that be a, a shotgun that Dad bought me when, for my 18th birthday, and I've had it and I, I hadn't used it in, uh, since I was 18 or 19 years old. It's been, it's been in my safe and, and held it there. I, 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 I treasure it. Uh, it's, it's a gift that Dad gave me, and I, I really treasure that gift. And I, I, There's things that, that, that Lana and I have done over the years that I treasure, that I hold them but you know what they're going to fade away one day but the things that we call eternal see trials in this whole world paul says in second corinthians he said are temporary but christ is eternal don't think on the things that are just temporary think on the things that are all eternal because folks that's what gives you the peace that passes all understanding and and i love and so the lord knows the days of the upright and the inheritance shall be forever they shall not be ashamed in the evil time in the days of famine they shall be satisfied god's going to take care of you he said that the wicked will perish and the enemies of the lord like the splendor of the meadows that shall vanish into smoke they will vanish away payday someday God's got his control. God's in control. He's going to take care of that. And listen to what the wicked man pledges. Look what he says in verse 21. The wicked man borrows and he doesn't repay. But the righteous shows mercy and he gives. For the Bible speaks, he said, For those blessed, though, for those blessed by him shall inherit the earth, but those cursed by him shall be cut off. One day, folks, one day we'll be rewarded for being a, a believer one day because of you've done what the bible said in the verse three trust in the lord trust in the lord do good dwell in the uh, the land feed on his light delight yourself also in him and he'll give you the desires of your heart verse four that's a wonderful promise but the wicked man knows that there'll be destruction one day and the bible says this i, I in, in verse number 23 Here's, what, here, here's the cool part. Here's where it begins to make a twist. 
We've talked about the wicked. We've talked about his plots. We've talked about his power. We've talked about his prosperity. We've talked about his protection. Uh, uh, and we've talked about his pledge. But now let's look, the forsaken paths of the wicked. That's, this is why we share the gospel. For the steps of a good man are ordered by who? The Lord. I ought to underline that in your Bible. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and delights in his way. You see, the steps of a, of a man of God, of a woman of God, of, of people of God that, that have a, a desire to follow God. They're ordered by God. God has a plan for our life. We just need to follow in it. I, I, I've been praying this prayer early in the morning. Lord, today, wherever you want me to go, whatever you want me to do, help me to be in your will as I go. Begin to think about where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do, what, uh, what the plans are for the day, and how that those things react. Sometimes I don't know what's going to happen during that. I never have known what's going to happen during that. I got those days planned out. I, I know something that I, about what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I was telling Carrie uh, one day last week, I said, well, I didn't get the yard bowed this week. I didn't get this done. I didn't get that done. I said, that's all right. He said, it'll be there next time. Don't worry about it. And he's right. He's right. You know, sometimes we, we get all flustered because it is. But the Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by God. So remember that when you put your feet down, if you're following and you're searching and you're seeking the will and the ways of God, that he's going to order your steps in the right place. That he'll put people in your paths. That there'll be places that you can do. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. And look at verse the next verse, number 24. Though he fall, and we're all going to fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with what? His hand. Now think about that, the hand of God. Think about the power that's in that hand. That hand of God pulls us up when we're in the mire of the world. That hand of God pulls us out of that old ugly, uh, murky waters of, of sin and discouragement. That, old, that hand of God is a helping hand that helps us in our times of need. That hand of God helps us and sets our feet on solid ground after we've been in the sinking sand. That hand of God guides us, leads us, directs us, and helps us. I don't know what hand you're holding on to today but my my suggestion is that you're holding on to the right hand you're holding on to the hand you see we sang that song while ago many things about tomorrow we don't seem to understand but i know who holds tomorrow and i know who holds my what my hand thank god he holds my hand would you bow with me in prayer Father, I love you this morning, and I'm so thankful for your word. Lord, it's just what I needed. It's exactly what I long for in my heart today. Lord, of all the sadness that goes on in our world today, of all the disease, of all the despair, of all the disparity, uh, Lord, of all the, 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 the heartaches and trials that we have to go through, of all the tears that we shed, Lord, of all the death, that comes knocking at our door. Lord, our hearts are touched. God, you told us in your word, Lord, that the wicked can come to know you. Help us to be faithful to share the gospel so that they can hear about who you are and what you've done. Lord, I love you, and I thank you today for the precious folks you've sent our way. For those who are watching this morning and that will watch tonight, Lord, uh, Father, again, I pray. If there's someone that doesn't know you, have never put their faith and trust in you, that they would come to under the understanding that they're loved more than they could ever imagine, ask or think. Lord, you love us. You cared for us. You sent Jesus to be our propitiation, to be the payment for all of our sins. Lord, we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. So God, today, because we were in our sin, you demonstrated your love toward us, Jesus, while we were still sinners. You died on the cross for our sins. And Lord, that if whosoever would call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, Lord. But believers who are going through a stretch of hard times, or believers here today who are going through some difficult ways, I pray that you would be very near to them. Put your arms around us and love us. In Jesus' name I pray. And I pray you would have your way in our life today. Let's sing that, folks. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art 
the potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me after thy will. While I am Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for being here uh, for our midweek morning manna. One of the highlights of my week. I love being here with you guys and just enjoying the togetherness and enjoying the, the sweet spirit of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So I'm praying for you guys. Uh, keep an eye on the storms, everybody. Uh, they're supposed to be uh, coming through this afternoon, so just keep your eye on them. We're going to continue to uh, monitor those storms and uh, just uh, uh, watch. And, and, and if, you, if we have to cancel some stuff tonight for our children and our students we'll let you know that but right now we're having uh, our lunch and uh, James has got something good over here for us to eat and uh, we're excited about that so again thank you have a great rest of the week we'll see you Sunday and uh, Cole if I forgot anything all right we're good thank you everybody God bless have a great week we appreciate you thank you for coming